Hello friends. Today's topic then 10,000 today 52 lakhs. See the story of the stock. You may be guessing which is the stock. I am Dr. Bharat Chandra. Purpose of the video is financial education of the society. This video of today is a fundamental analysis of Titan Company. We have made this video to give investors brief idea about how you should do fundamental analysis before investing in any stock and you must go through the video in detail, make a format like this, fill it up looking at the various websites, then only try to buy a stock. This is the story of one of the most successful companies in the last 20 years. Company has grown bigger and bigger, has become a household name in India. This is the inspirational story of Titan Company, one of the jewels of the Tata Group. Watch the complete video, share with friends. Titan Company, the beginning. 1984 started as a watch company to compete against HMT and other watch companies in India. Manufacturing plant was in industrial area Hosur. Its corporate headquarters is in Bangalore now. It was promoted by the Tata Group and Tamil Nadu Industrial Development Corporation. In a few years, it became one of the leading watch manufacturers in India. Towards the end of 1993, Titan Watches changed its name to Titan Industries since it planned to venture into other businesses apart from watches. In 1994, Tanish was launched by Titan as a jewelry brand. The term Tanish was coined by Xeroxes Desai, first MD of Titan, by combining the words tan meaning body, Nishak means gold ornament. Titan was very confident of succeeding in the jewelry segment after being very successful in his watch business. However, Tanish was a failure for Titan in the initial days. For around 5 years, Titan failed in its jewelry business and many people in the Tata group asked Chairman Ratan Tata to shut it down and cut the losses. Ratan Tata also seemed to be in favor of this. The main reason for Tanish to fail was Indians purchased jewelry from the neighborhood jewelers. People had high faith in local jewelers. After failing in many attempts to improve their business and recover their losses, finally Titan decided to introduce a new initiative. It introduced Caratometer, which was a machine that checked the purity of gold. Tanish announced that people could visit their stores and check the purity of their gold in the carat meter. And this is the picture of the carat meter of the yesteryears. Tanish announced that the purity of the customer's gold was found to be lesser than what was claimed. Tanish replaced the piece with higher purity while only charging the customer making charges. Gold upgrade was free. This boosted the customer's confidence in Tanish. Soon, large number of women started visiting Tanish stores to check the purity of the jewelry. More than 80% of the women were shocked to see that their local jewelers had cheated them by charging more for lower purity of gold. Most of the women had paid for 24 karat gold but received only 18 karat gold in their jewelry. The rest is history. Their jewelry business started growing at a high rate and they start expanding all over the country and abroad. Over the years, Tanish has launched the Mia brand which is mainly jewelry using 14 karat gold and lightweight which makes it affordable for the customers. Weddings in India account for 50% of jewelry bought in India. Tanish benefits a lot from wedding purchases. More than 20% of Tanish sales are from wedding jewelry segment. Now, Titan Company revenue to show you how it derives its money. Jewelry 87.5% of the total revenue, watches 8.7, eyewear 1.5, others sarees, perfumes, handbags, accessories 2.3. Titan yearly financials deliberately because this is the detailed fundamental analysis. I am giving you the total sales and net profits of the last 10 years. March 2014, total sales 10,927 crores, net profit 735 crores. March 2015, total sales 11,913, 
नेट प्रॉफिट 816 क्रोर्स 2016 टोटल सेल्स 11276 वर्सेस नेट प्रॉफिट 675 क्रोर्स मार्च 2017 टोटल सेल्स 13261 नेट प्रॉफिट 697 क्रोर्स मार्च 2018 टोटल सेल्स 16,210 नेट प्रॉफिट 1,102 क्रोर्स। इफ यू सी ऑलमोस्ट एवरी ईयर द टोटल सेल्स एंड द नेट प्रॉफिट हैज गोन अप। नाउ लेट अस यू द नेक्स्ट फाइव इयर्स ऑफ द टोटल सेल्स एंड नेट प्रॉफिट। मार्च 2019 टोटल सेल्स 19,779 क्रोर्स, नेट प्रॉफिट 1,389 क्रोर्स। March 2020 total sales 21052 net profit 1493 crores March 2021 21644 crores and the net profit 974 crores you may be wondering why it has come down all because of the corona and the lockdown March 2022 total sales 28799 net profit 2198 crores March 2023 total sales 40575 net profit 3274 crores even here you can see a continuous rise in the net profit and then also the sales now titan sales and profit growth 5 years sales growth 20% per annum net profit growth 24% per annum 10 years sales growth 15% per annum Net profit 16% per annum. Now Titan Company yearly closing rates. If you look at this, you get tremendous confidence to do SCP in this particular stock. Year 2000 it was three rupees two paisa. 2001 came down to one rupee eighty five paisa. Then there is no looking back. 2005 41, 2011 171, 2017 856, 2023. 2023 3,675. Now one more interesting piece of calculation. Rupees 10,000 per year from January 2000 in Titan. Suppose an investor invested rupees 10,000 at the beginning of every year in Titan shares from 2000 to 2024. I'm talking about 25 years. He would have bought a total of 16,563 shares. Today's approximate share price is three thousand seven hundred and fifty. So the total value is sixteen thousand five hundred and sixty-three into three thousand seven hundred and fifty comes to six point two one crores. Now I am giving you one more statistics. Suppose you had invested one time payment of rupees ten thousand in January two thousand, and then today return since January two thousand in twenty-five years. Is third January two thousand ten thousand. The rate was seven rupee thirty paisa. Price adjusted for bonus and split. Twenty fifth January two thousand twenty four. It has gone up to fifty one point six four lakhs. And then today's rate three thousand seven hundred and seventy. And the CAGR every year it has given twenty eight point three nine percent per annum. Whereas the same money in post office would have given you seven percent per annum. Titan returns for different periods. For an investor, one year returns is sixty percent, three year returns is thirty six percent, five year returns is thirty one percent per annum, and ten years returns thirty three percent per annum. Now, Titan bonus and split history. First bonus was in the year two thousand eleven. Ratio one is to one. Bonus shares hundred, existing shares hundred. Total it became two hundred. Again in 2011, the shares were split. 10 rupee became 1 rupee face value, and after split shares, it became 2000. Existing shares were 200. Total, your one share becomes 2000. At that time, before bonus and split, Titan share price was around rupees 4400. After one is to one bonus and 10 is to one stock split, it became around 220. This rupees two hundred and twenty per share has become around three thousand eight hundred today. Many people make the mistake of thinking that Titan share price was around seven rupees in two thousand. It only looks like that after adjusting the bonus and split. The actual share price 
was around 150 in the year 2000. Titan has continuously redefined itself and has diversified into many other businesses such as eyewear, sarees, perfumes, handbags, etc. Even though the company's fundamentals are good, there have been many ups and downs in the share price. Just because you buy a good company does not mean the share will continuously appreciate. Now, Titan shares journey. 500 it touched on June 2017. 1000 it touched on January 2019. 1500 December 2020. 2000 September 2021. 2500 October 2021. 3000 June 2023. And 3800 January 2024. When we talk about buying Titan share and keeping it for long term, Many people ask us, Sir, Titan has already appreciated, where is the scope of further appreciation? But one thing is sure, Titan is continuously going up and the market share is yet to realize to the highest level, which I am going to deal slightly later. Titan company graph from 2000 to 2024 continuously is going up with small corrections here and there. As I said, Titan has only around 7% market share in the branded jewellery segment in India. So there is still plenty of scope to grow. But it will also need to keep facing tough competition from its peers such as Kalyan Jewellers, Malabar, Joy Lucas, Reliant Jewels, etc. If you observe the journey of other good companies too, you will notice that their businesses have struggled during certain phases due to which stock has fallen. On the other hand, business might have been doing well, but the stock would have been stagnant or falling for some months or years, example ITC in the past, HDFC bank now etc. In the meantime, large number of investors would have lost patience to hold the stock. That is why it is not enough just know a list of stocks to invest. You must also know how to do fundamental analysis on a regular basis to monitor quarterly results so that you know whether to hold a stock or sell. Some company may have to be sold too if they seem to be deteriorating. We cannot keep holding and hoping for all companies to do well. End of the video, here is the question. Do you expect Titan company to do well for the next 10 to 20 years? You may type yes or no. In case you are not the member of this particular channel, this is the time to subscribe. Press the bell icon, send the video to all your friends, the video is good, press the like button. We have deliberately made this video a little longer in order to tell you how to do complete fundamental analysis of a particular stock. Keep this format with you and make sure that you are going to do fundamental analysis of all the companies that you are investing so that in the future you know what to do with those stocks. Thank you for watching the video. Bye bye. All the best.